Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with H3PO4 Lewis structure. So to determine the Lewis structure we will first look at the total number of valence electrons. Here we have one phosphorus atom uh, and then we have hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom has 6 valence electrons so we have 6 into 4 24 and plus we have 3 electrons from hydrogen atoms. and we have 5 electrons from phosphorus atoms so in total we have 32 valence electrons for this molecule uh, for the placement of atoms uh, the hydrogen atoms will be placed near oxygen atom because whenever this, this there is this type of arrangement like if you see more number of hydrogen atoms it is uh, quite possible that it would be attached to oxygen atom and then that complete molecule like OH group will be attached to that central atom. So here we are going to do that arrangement where we will place phosphorus atom in the center all oxygen atoms uh, surrounding the phosphorus atom and the hydrogen atoms will be placed around oxygen atoms. So the arrangement would look something like this. To show bonds between these atoms we will place a pair of electrons between all phosphorus and oxygen atoms so doing that we will be using up eight valence electrons and then we will uh, place a pair of electron between oxygen and hydrogen atoms as well and then we will try to complete octets for all the oxygen atoms which will eventually help us to use up all our 32 valence electrons so if you count the number of electrons that we have used up here uh, it would be 32. So it might seem a very good Lewis structure to you because of all the valence electrons that are placed properly and because of the placement of the bonds and everything. But if you calculate the formal charges for this molecule, phosphorus atom will have a charge of plus 1 and oxygen atom will have a charge of minus 1. Now we generally try to opt for a structure in which formal charges are as close to 0. So and if it is possible we actually do that here we can uh, we can nullify those charges by shifting a pair of electron from oxygen atom so if you shift a pair of oxygen or uh, if you shift a pair of electron from oxygen atom in between oxygen and phosphorus atom it can balance off these charges uh, as a result there will be a double bond formed between this oxygen and phosphorus atom as oxygen atom is not reacting with hydrogen atom here it has a it has an electron pair to spare so it can react with a uh, phosphorus atom with two with a double bond and hence now this is the Lewis structure of H3PO4 in which phosphorus atom forms a double bond with one oxygen and single bonds with the rest of OH groups. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure for H3PO4 molecule and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.